this individual asks, what are the risk factors for prostate cancer? Um, well, th there are two really important ones. Um, being a man, having, having male genes, um, being exposed to testosterone, um, and also age. And, and those are the principal factors that um, are related to um, prostate cancer. In fact, uh, we often say that men, if they live long enough, um, nearly all of them will develop prostate cancer. Uh, however, only about 3% of men will die of prostate cancer over a lifetime. So you can see there's a big imbalance between what we call prevalence, the amount of prostate cancer out there, and the amount and the proportion of people that die. And, and that's how we're using tests to identify the individuals with prostate cancer that matters. Um, and we think MRI is very good at that. It overlooks the prostate cancers that perhaps aren't even cancers, uh, the so-called Gleason 3 plus 3s, uh, but misses very, very few of the larger cancers that present as lesions within the prostate. Um, now, there are other factors, and uh, Western lifestyle is clearly one of them. If you go to South Asia, Southeast Asia, um, the incidence of prostate cancer is very low. If that individual and their family move to, say, America, uh, within a generation or two, they approximate the rates of prostate cancer that we would expect uh, in an American population. And that is and that's purely environment. That's moving from possibly a largely vegetarian diet, uh, low in meat, uh, low body mass index, to uh, an environment where uh, the body mass index, individuals will put on weight, their diet will change, they might be exposed also to pollutants and carcinogens that perhaps uh, they were not exposed to um, uh, in, in the country of origin. And, and, that, and that's a fact, we know that, we know that, um, that through migration, prostate cancer risk changes. We're also currently very interested in different, different ethnic groups um, and, and cultures and the prevalence of prostate cancer. Um, of, most people know that black men are predisposed, more likely to get prostate cancer. And when they do get prostate cancer, it can be of higher aggressivity. Um, and again, the precise reasons for that uh, are not known, but are currently the subject of a lot of research. Um, there's not much you can do uh, about reducing one's risk. Um, you can't change your age, um, et cetera. Uh, and men often ask what it is that they can do. Uh, and this relates to another question that we have on, on biology. Um, and, and my general answer is, um, is, is to try and adopt a, a healthy as lifestyle as possible. Uh, so I say what's good for the brain and the heart is good for the prostate. And we encourage the things that we know work. Um, and that's, you know, losing weight, exercising, eating sensibly, possibly reducing the amount of animal content in the diet and increasing the uh, amount of plant element in the diet. And if you do all those three, all those three things, your general health will improve, uh, your risk of dementia will diminish, uh, the risk of heart disease will diminish, and, and we are of the belief that your prostate health will indeed uh, be enhanced. Now, there are lots and lots of supplements out there. Many of you will be taking them. Uh, they're all about a pound a day or 30 pounds a month. Um, there are literally hundreds, uh, and many of you will be bombarded by adverts for these supplements. The supplements tend to contain uh, mixtures of things. Um, so there's some plant-based products. Um, saw palmetto, which comes from the dwarf cactus plant, uh, is in these substances. Um, selenium, zinc, vitamin A, vitamin E tend to be present. Um, and that's fine. They're, they're, we think all those, those things are good, but they are probably better delivered as part of a good and balanced diet. So I would um, say, and, and obviously, if you want to take a supplement, you can, but actually the better strategy is to um, try and uh, have some impact on your diet. And that diet should be broad and include nuts. Brazil nuts have a lot of selenium in them. Tomato-based products, um, red peppers, etc., cetera, um, have a lot of lycopene. Um, and, and to get those nutrients through natural means, we believe is a lot better than through uh, tablet formulation.